Good evening. To begin, a welcome to our special guest from the U.S. Consulate, Consul General uh, Michael Mullen, and his uh, uh, member from his team, John Matea. Welcome. Uh, it is an honor that you are here with us tonight, and we look forward, Michael, to your address in just a few minutes. To our customers and our vendors, thank you for coming out and celebrating with us here tonight. Uh, we thank you for all the support that you give us and the trust and confidence that you provide in us. So thank you. Cedar Crest Down, tonight we celebrate 10 glorious years. <laughs> Managed services is a tough, tough business. It's governed by SLAs service level agreements, very stringent, very rigid. The client's application needs to be up, it needs to be live, it needs to be running fast. If there's a disaster, it needs to be recovered quickly. And by all means, it has to be secure. If we screw up, it costs us a lot of money, not only in credits, but also in our reputation. Rick talked a little bit earlier about how we had a slow start after 2004, and he gave some of the reasons. But some of the other reasons is that because this is such a mission-critical support service that we uh, applied to our customers, the U.S. operation was very hesitant to give it to India. Well, you guys exceeded our expectations, high quality. You asked for more work, and when you got that work, you performed it exceptionally well. <laughs> and amazingly, Brian, when he came out here, along with Sean and Terry in 2004, they never expected, nor did I ever expect, that in 2013, the year just passed, that India performed over 50% of all managed services work effort. Tonight, the managed services group has every reason to celebrate all your success and all you've accomplished. Consulting. In 2008, the U.S. was in a severe uh, recession. There wasn't much consulting work out there, and what was out there, our customers and clients were very, very demanding. They expected exceptional quality, high efficiency, and at a price that was very value-based. At that point in time, we decided that one of the ways to strategically work in that environment was to start our consulting organization here in India. In the month of June 2008, out of 55,000 hours, consulting hours that were billed to our customers, only 167 were billed out of India, a very small percentage. Last year, 2013, 25 percent of all consulting hours billed is now performed here in India. The consulting organization has become very strategic in how we position and how we solution into the market. You are extremely important to our go forward plan and I tell you, the consulting group, you have every reason to celebrate tonight. Now, there's a group that's not very often talked about, but it's the group that supports all of you. It's the folks from the recruiting organization that bring folks in. It's from the HR, the finance, the IT support, all these folks who work behind the scenes to make sure everyone here can do their job effectively. They have far exceeded 
our expectations and what they've been able to deliver. And tonight, those folks have every reason to celebrate.